Labour think this flag is racist. Because St George's flag, UKIP will make St George's Day a national holiday. I've been thinking the same thing since I was eight years old. And many people agreed with me then and still agree with me now. And a, la a Labour um, uh, candidate in Wales uh, was accused of racism uh, because he was actually slagging off the English flag and about the, uh, uh, the patriotic uh, English uh, for being too patriotic. And no one better than I think when the Scottish uh, flag is St Andrew's flags, when they do Hogsmeade, when they uh, play, uh, wear cartons. Um, no one better than I live when we were celebrating St David's Day. And million, but millions of people across the world celebrate St Patrick's Day. But when you dare to celebrate the English uh, patrons Day for St George's Day, to Labour, you are racist. You flying on a flag from your window. Look at you, you bloody racist knuckle dragon BMP supporter. That's what Labour will say. And I believe that people should fly, fly a flag with pride. England is a country within the United Kingdom. And for too long now, the English have been underrepresented. Underrepresented. Whereas that would give our parliament. Why do the Scottish people uh, get more funding than they going English? English taxpayers know for a fact that they are paying for the Scots to have free tuition fees, free hospital parking, and all the rest of it. And the SNP is a socialist party that believes money grows on trees. Well, to them, it is true. With English subsidies, uh, the, um, this, the 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 SNP can have endless amounts of money. I guarantee you, after the general election, Sturgeon will demand more and more for the price of helping Mr. Miliband prop up a albeit minority Labour government. If Mr. Miliband goes this, English focus will be flocking to UKIP in droves. This flag is not racist. This is a patriotic flag going back hundreds of thousands, no, uh, going back centuries. St. George's flag. I love, I love this England flag, it's beautiful. But they will call you racist if you dare fly a flag. <laughs> I Labour dare call UK a racist party. Yeah, it's I believe it's Labour that is actually racist. I mean, take these uh, comments by uh, Diane Abbott. She said that um, white people love to divide and rule. Chuka Umunga, uh, Labour's shadow business uh, secretary, black sheep people. Uh, should be given more singing positions of uh, over white people in Britain. Just space thing up a bit. That is racist. Now, if I say white people should be given more singing positions over black people in Britain, just space things up a bit. I would immediately, if 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 I was an MP, I would immediately be kicked out of of uh, UK, and I'll be I'll be immediately. Um, expelled from the House of Commons and also charged with racism by the police. But when Chucker or Diana say things uh, like that, she will have a distinction. No one backs an island. I, 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 I mean, that is racist. Diana Abbott is probably one of the most racist people uh, that you can actually come across. She hates, she hates white people. And Labour seem and Harry Hartman seems to hate men. She loves paedophiles, but she seems, she seems to hate men. Uh, you an interview with Michael Crick. Uh, she said, uh, thankfully, because you're a man, Mr. Crick, you won't be able to come into this woman's uh, uh, conference. 
sexism. And they form, actually, and they form, really. So yeah, sneer against someone who gave like his flag out to start going home. You could do not sneer and encourage people to be proud, to be uh, proud of their national identity, whether they be Scottish, English, Welsh, or Northern Irish. Beautiful flag. God save the Queen. <laughs>